Are you going to help me set up for lunch today? What do we this need? This group of three to four year olds are getting ready for their lunchtime meal. Should we do the plates first so we know where to put the knives and forks? Yes? Let's Take see. note of how Sam is involving the children in the preparation of laying the table, counting out the right number of plates, cups and cutlery. One in front of each chair, Jamie. Good boy. Thank you. Well done. We've got them. There you go. I don't think we need so many. Make sure you put one in front of every plate. On the other side, put it on this side. This side, yeah? Well done, Caitlin. The way Sam talks to the children using their individual names is very good practice, showing that they're valued and being treated as individuals rather than just a group of children working together. You will see that some plates are yellow and there are some that are red. The red plates are for those with restricted diets due to parental choice or allergy. The name labels cards are added by the children to the correct dietary need. It is vital that any staff serving food to children double check which children need a special diet. Let's go and find a place for them. Can we put these ones over there and this one over here? And can you put the green ones all together over here, Annika? That's okay, that's an extra one. Annika, can you put all the green ones over here? Yes. All the green ones together and then we'll put all the blue ones together. Oh, Caitlin's going there, is she? Oh no, Jamie's going there. Very good. The staff sit at the table and eat with the children, showing children they too eat and enjoy the healthy food. Before serving any food, the staff put on their disposable gloves and aprons in line with the settings policy on serving food. And it does of course arrive from the kitchen covered. Sam encourages the children to help themselves to how much they want to eat. This is good practice as it encourages independence, making choices, and it means they are more likely to eat the food if they themselves have chosen to put it on their plates. When the food is brought to the table by the practitioner, it is a healthy balanced meal, so the children cannot choose an unhealthy option as there is not one. Are you going to eat it all up? Well done, Caitlin. You've taken all the vegetables. Sam may well take note when reflecting on her practice that another way of helping children to choose to eat food they may not want to try is to offer them three differently sized spoons, a big, medium and small one. By letting them choose to have just a very tiny spoonful of a particular food, they're more likely to try it. Especially if the practitioner says, what size spoon would you like to take your sweet corn? Rather than, would you like some sweet corn? I'd like a drink of water. Do you want some more water? Uh, yeah? I want some more water. Water. OK. What do we say? Water is vital for young children whose little bodies have a very high water content, which needs replenishing regularly. The children here are not offered juice or squash at mealtimes, as the need is water, and with other things not being on offer, they happily accept the water. Uh, sausage. Sausage. Corn, queen, and peas. And sweet, carrots. Sweet corn, peas. Carrots. carrots. And carrots. So your mummies and daddies will know what you had for lunch and how much you had. So I've written down Cashel, Jamie, Caitlin, who else is here, Jamie? You're finished where well, you ate all your vegetables, didn't you? So I can write all vegetables. Once the meal is coming to an end, Sam records what children have eaten so that she can inform the parents. Again, she includes the children asking them to say how much they have eaten. This helps the children to be aware of what they've eaten, that information is going back to the parents, and is also an opportunity to praise the child for eating well, eating a good range, or finishing all that they have taken. Thank you. Come on then, Cashel, should we get the flannels? You get the baskets? Well done. Should we go and give everybody one? There we go, see? The children finish their dessert and then, as you would expect, they wash their hands.
In this setting, they bring individual wet flannels for the children to wash their hands and then put them straight into the laundry. Other settings may take children to a sink with running water or use wet wipes from a packet. There we go. Jamie needs a flannel. Well done. Who else needs one? Annika needs one. There, and you need one. There, are you going to put the basket back for me? Thank you, Kishel. Right, walking feet. Let's go and play. Let's go. 